Hi there, this is Bob from Insidium. On today's Top Tip Tuesday, this is a good one. I'm gonna show you how we can create a particle cloud from within the volume of a scene object. That's easy, we've done that a million times before. But I'm then gonna show you how we can use that object's texture to color those particles across the surface and within the volume. It's a really powerful technique. Lots to do, let's begin. In our scene, we have this mushroom model. This is from the Cinema 4D Content Browser. And we've picked this one because it's got this nice texture on. If we go into that, um, let's just have a look at this. I'll make that a bit bigger. We've got this nice UV mapped um, texture, which is giving us this cool detail. And we want to use this, say, in a particle simulation. So here's how we'd set it up. We've got uh, an emitter here. And if we go to the object tab, it's an emitter shape object. We're referencing the mushroom object here, and it's set to emit from the polygon area, which is effectively the surface of the object. And then in the emission tab, we're in shot. Let's put it on random, which means that we'll get random distribution over the surface of the, uh, of the model. We've got uh, half a million particles being born, and we've got a small radius, actually, 0 0.04. This is a tiny model. It's only about 10 centimeters. Uh, no speed. So if we go forward, we will emit all of those particles on the surface, but we're not getting the color. So this is how we get the color from the texture. Let's go back to the object tab of our emitter. And instead of emit from polygon area, we're going to change it to texture. And if we just come up a bit, this reveals now a texture tab. Let's click on here. It says, which texture tag do you want to reference? So we need to drag in the one from the object. There it is. And we don't want an emit channel. We want to emit from all over the surface of this. So we'll just put that on none, which means we get them everywhere. But the color channel, we want to get the particle color from the color channel of this material. So that's exactly what we want. So now if we re-simulate, yes, look, if we make, let's make our mushroom completely invisible now. So we're just looking at the particles. And yes, we have got that particle coloration from the texture. That is cool. The problem is, if we come in, because this is emitting on the surface of our object and not within the volume, this is just kind of a shell of particles. And this, we couldn't do a grain sim with this. We couldn't do anything that would require a volume of particles in that particle cloud. So let's make a change. What I'm going to do is copy this original emitter and just switch the original off. And in the copy, we're going to rename it and not call it surface. We're going to call it emitter volume. And in this emitter, we're going to go to the emission tab and change the shot from random, which does it randomly over the surface, to hexagonal. Now, this is a volume emission mode. So what it's going to do, it's going to look at the particle radius and it's going to fit as many particles of this size within the volume in a regular hexagonal grid. And we've just put a little bit of jitter in the position of the X and Y and the Z to break up the look of that grid a bit. So if I go back to the first frame and then go forward a frame, it'll generate our grid. And then we have got a, uh, we've got a volume of particles now. If we dolly into this particle cloud, it has depth all the way through it. Okay. The problem, the obvious problem, is that we've lost our particle color. And that's because you can't use a texture to color a volume of particles because that's only for the surface. So here is how we are going to get the best of both worlds. We are going to go to Insidium, X Particles, Nexus, and bring in an NX Upres. And in this Upres, let's activate our surface emitter again and go back to frame zero. In the upres, we're going to use the surface particles as our source particles. We're going to use the volume particles as our destination particles. And we're not going to blend the velocity, which is on by default. We're going to use the color. And what this is saying is every single destination particle, every particle in that volume is going to look for its three closest surface particles and it's going to blend that color. So if this is working correctly, let's just switch off the visibility of our surface particles. We'll go forward a frame. So we should birth our hex volume particles. 
and they should blend their color with their three nearest surface particles and yes look there we go we've got it we've got our particle cloud these are the volume particles if we dolly right in this has depth but we have blended that surface color from those other particles brilliant so let's get this saved as the kind of initial state of these particles so we don't need to run this up res every time we want to play the scene so let's just go to our emitter volume object tab we can go to the initial state tab select it set state which saves this state with that color now we can go to the emission tab and switch off we don't need to shoot any particles now because we're going to we're going to load it from that initial state so let's set the emission to controlled only perfect and now we've done that we can switch off the surface particles we can switch off the up res we don't need that anymore and if we go back to the first frame go forward a frame and it'll load those particles from the initial state and these are ready to be simulated now fantastic let's have a look at what they look like we'll put this material on our emitter volume if I just double click on that you'll see that uh, we've got a color user data there which is referencing the, the particle color that's how we're going to get the color from the particles into the material and then we need to go to tags render bring in a redshift object tag let's instance some spheres very good and now if we go to redshift render view and let's render and yep fantastic perfect we are getting our cloud of particles and they're getting their color from that object that looks really cool that look excellent in a granular sim crumbling away and let's just show you that this is simulating if we we've got a turbulence active in our scene look so let's just go forward a few frames yeah look the turbulence is affecting our particle cloud let's hit render and obviously that simulation is now working in our viewport very very cool so that is how we get the color from an object from its surface from a cool um, uv mapped uh, material and how we apply that to a 3d grid of particles with depth ready for various different simulation effects